Welcome to your first Fusion 360 tutorial and we're going to learn about the different parts of Fusion 360. By the end of this you should be able to name the toolbar, the data panel, the browser, the timeline, and the orientation cube or the view cube. So in order to do this we're going to start with a new design so we can start from scratch. One thing to change right away in your browser is to click the down arrow to open up the document setting and make sure you're on centimeters. If you're on millimeters, just click on the change active units, click on centimeters, and then set as default and click OK. We'll talk more about the browser in a little bit. But the first thing we're going to talk about is the toolbar. The toolbar has hundreds of different tools that you can use to create anything you want. Right now we're just going to be using the create menu for box, cylinder, and sphere. Just creating solid bodies. These other tools are wonderful and we're going to learn them later on in this unit or this project, but they are more complicated and because of that you have to know how to do some other things. So for right now we're just going to create boxes and cylinders um, and solid bodies. Then there's the modify menu. The modify men menu can change the uh, some of the things or modify different bodies. There's things like shelling it so you can make it hollow. You can split a body in half. You can change the edges of a body to make sure they um, are they're slanted or curved. Notice when you hover over a tool, it tells you what it does. So if you read, um, if you read the descriptions, you can learn a lot about what a tool does. Some of these quick tools are already in place. That will change as you start to use things in Fusion 360. To get started, let's create a box. So click on Create and click on Box. Immediately, it tells you what you need to do. It says select a plane. So we need a flat surface that we're going to draw our box on. We have three options right now with the origins. We have the bottom, we have the side, and these two sides. We're going to draw it on the bottom. The next thing it does is says place first corner. So what we're going to do is place one here. We're going to drag around. You don't have to click and drag, just drag. And we're going to place it, make a five by five centimeter rectangle. Then a tool dialog box pops up. This is for the box that we're creating and it tells you everything about the box that you're making. So you can use these arrows to pull it, kind of like change the side of it. You can actually type in the different dimensions or you can type them into the box right here. So just to start let's create a 5 by 5 by 5 box. We'll come back to operations later, but we can change the kind of box we're making. We want to have a new body, and we're going to click OK. Some very important uh, gestures you can use are two fingers. If you just place two fingers on the trackpad and just move it around, don't click, you can pan left and right and up and down. If you hold the shift key while you're doing that, you rotate around. It's very important to be able to see the sides, the left, the right, the top, the back. Um, or you can pinch and uh, pinch and zoom uh, just like you would on your phone. There is a cube up here called the View Cube. Um, if you ever get crazily out, you can hit the Home button and it brings you back to this very standard home view. You also can click on any of the words, the arrows, the edges. And if you click and drag, you can actually rotate around. So that if um, shift and two fingers doesn't work for you, you can always grab this cube and kind of move around and look at different parts. Click the home button to go back. All right, now we made our first cube or our first box. You can see over here, I can hit this drop down bent, uh, arrow and it opens up all the bodies. And you can see there's the body that we've created. Let's go ahead and double click on the word body one. Let's call that the bottom. That's the bottom box. We're going to make some more boxes. So the browser allows us to see all the bodies we've created. Down here is called the timeline and it is just 
like that is a timeline of all the different tools you've used. And we only have one, so it's not very exciting, but you can see that box is down on the timeline. If we wanted to make a change to that box, we could double click it, and it would allow us to make changes to that box. I'm just going to click that and bring it back to 5x5x5. Five by five by five. All right. Next thing we want to do is create another box because uh, one box is good, but two boxes is even better. So again, which uh, plane do you want to draw the bottom of your box on? This time we have the option of our um, origins down here, or we can draw on the box we created first. We're going to draw one on the top, and if you want you can click the top button and you can see the top and we're going to create a box with on top of the box that looks about like this click the home button so I can see it here's my dialog box and I want to make a box that comes out I'm going to use the scan just the panning tool and I'm going to make it a 4x4x4 four by four by four. now the operation is asking us one thing do you want to join these boxes together or do you want a new body and for for this particular tutorial we want to change it so we have one, a new body and we click OK. Now you will have the bottom box and then body 2 which we'll call the top box. Down in the timeline we have both both of the bodies body 1 which is the bottom and body 2 which is the top and we can scroll and pan around it. So practice that right now scrolling use the the 3D cube or the orientation cube to take a look. Get used to rotating, panning, and zooming. And then click that home button when you're ready. Let's do one more on top of this. Let's create a cylinder this time. And again, the cylinder is asking us where do you want at the bottom of the cylinder. We're going to click it on the top. I can't really see, so I want to put it right in the center. Let's see and I'm going to make it two centimeters. I'm going to hit enter because I'm ready. You can see we can actually make it bigger if we wanted to or taller and we've got all these buttons. So if I click if I click join it it will actually create one body made of this the first the second the second box and the cylinder together and it's sometimes okay to have them joined and sometimes it's better to have them as new bodies. It is easy to combine them later, so starting with all new bodies so that you can um, do different things with them is kind of uh, what I would suggest. And you'll see that as we go through different tutorials. So now I have my three objects. Even though these are joined, I can still double click on the cylinder and adjust it if I wanted to make it higher or lower or skinnier and I could click OK and it would just make that change. The timeline is very powerful. I use it all the time to make small adjustments or change the way I used a tool. So that's all the parts of the uh, user interface. We got the toolbar up here, the browser, the timeline, and the 3D cube or the orientation cube. Now that I have a, um, an object that I want to save or a, a, a model that I want to save, it's called Untitled right now, we're just going to click on this Save button up at the top and we're going to name it My First Creation, something like that. You can see that there are different places. Yours should be Admin, I think it's Admin um, first projects or something like that. You can just save it into one of yours and then if you click over here you can see in the dial pad it is right here uh, along with all the things that you've, you've uh, been creating or that you will create. Alright so that's the very first part. Let me see your very first creation and see you pan and zoom and rotate. Uh, remember those words because those are going to be important in the future. Toolbar data panel, browser, timeline, and the 3D cube or the orientation cube.